Hey there, Lance from the Boarding House. Today we're going to do a quick video on skateboards. First we'll start off with the completes, everything you need to know about them, why they're the easy way to get going, who they're good for, etc, etc. Then we're going to move over into building your own board, starting from deck, trucks, picking out wheels, bearings, hardware, everything you need to get yourself riding. So yeah, let's start. Cool. All right, well, what is a complete? A complete is a pre-built skateboard that comes with everything you need to get riding. Deck, trucks, wheels, bearings, hardware, you name it. It's got it all. Good price point, gets you a middle of the road, kind of everything. Goes everything from the little kid sizing all the way up into adult sizing and bigger kids. So really, kind of pick whatever size you want and you're good to ride, and that's it. All right, let's get into the fun part, building your first skateboard. There's so many options. You can change up your deck sizing, shapes, trucks, wheels, bearings. Every little adjustment you make is gonna change your ride experience, making for a really unique time out there. It can seem overwhelming at first, but it's not too bad once you understand the basics. First off, you wanna pick your deck size. Got eights, 875s, 83, 88, got reissues, all types of sizing out there. Generally speaking, the bigger your feet, the bigger the deck you're gonna to wanna to go with. Now, that being said, there's a lot of personal preference too. Smaller deck is easier to flip and spin, so you're gonna find more technical riders. Street riders will really prefer a smaller deck, whereas a lot of vert riders will lean to a bigger deck because they're easier to catch and lock in on and really change up your riding experience. Personally, I go with like around an 8.5, though I like to play up and down depending on what right, I'm riding. So, what the truck is next, and that's basically it, trucks. What you wanna do is once you have your deck, you take the deck size and you match the truck size. For example, the eight, I got 139. 875, I got 149. For this 83, I got 146. Basically what you wanna do is line the trucks up with the holes, make sure that they come in line with the edge of the board and you're good to go. For example, on this board, it's a shaped deck, it gets wider in the middle, narrower down at the, the holes. So I line this up and make sure that everything fits. Yeah. The only thing you need to worry about is just make sure you don't get something that's too small, get a lot of wheel bite, something that's too big, and you're gonna have a really sloppy ride. But once you have the truck sizing, then the rest is all kind of personal preference and adjustments. Pick different color trucks. You can go with trucks that have cool features. This one, for example, is called a hollow. It's got a hollowed out kingpin, hollowed out hangers, makes for a lighter truck. They got solid indie trucks good to go you get reverse king, uh, kingpin trucks so you get better grind clearance trucks with a higher hanger are going to be a little bit more turny whereas a lower to the board truck is going to give you a little bit quicker more technical riding truck adjust them play around with them have some fun it's a great way to change up your riding style all right so you got your deck set up you got your trucks let's start with our wheels Next thing you need to know is 101s, nice hard park wheels, 87s, nice soft street wheels. These are going to feel sticky in the park. These are going to feel every bump you go over. So if you're riding on smooth pavement in the park, these will be your preference. Whereas if you're doing a lot of street riding and you need rough terrain, these are going to be your definitely your favorites. Now, nice middle ground, the 92s. They do a little bit of both, kind of like your all season tires. A nice option. They can get in some of the technical wheels. These ones are cool. They have different cuts and shapes. They'll change up how they ride. Basically, the bigger the wheel, the faster it's going to be. Whereas a smaller wheel, the more technical it's going to feel. Thicker heights on them, better contact patches. Um, thinner contact patch can be nice and slidey, great for power slides. Nice thick contact patch is really going to lock in. So depending on how you want to ride, you can change that up. Move over to bearings. Your basic bearings tried and true solid will get the job done you can level up into some higher end bearings like the g3s are my personal favorite but there's lots of them out there there's ceramics there's swisses there's all kinds basically they'll have deeper gro uh, grooves for the balls to roll in they'll be tough they'll be faster they're a great option if you want to level up your speed game now moving into the hardware this is pretty simple hardware is hardware you can get different colors and styles different um, ways to Phillips to Allen key but outside of that your biggest thing to keep in mind is size 7 8 will do everything you need for a skateboard whereas if you have riser pads or bigger trucks like in a longboard you might want to go with a bigger size like one and a quarter or one and a half 
they're too big for your skateboard you're gonna have a lot of overhang once the bolts bolted down and that can be awkward so just get some nice hardware that matches your board easy peasy other than that skate tools they're awesome they make tuning up your board and doing everything you need super easy all right so we've gone over decks trucks wheels bearings hardware pretty much everything you need to get your first skateboard put together final step is to get a grip and that is the most personal step you can go there's no wrong answers when it comes to grip tape you can go with some cool graphics some bright graphics you can go with some stuff that's got these peekaboos in them so if you got a cool top sheet it's nice because it can sneak through so you got let's say a bright pink deck it'll shine through so you got pink and black maybe avoid a black deck because then you'll lose out but yeah clear is fun shows the top sheet some decks have a really cool graphic on the top some people like to sticker bomb their top deck and then grip it it's a fun option other than that basic black tried and true basically choose your grippiness um maw will be a little bit more grippy whereas jessup's going to be a little bit softer pick and play choose what you like it's pretty simple but yeah if you got any questions or concerns hit us up drop us comments shoot us a message we're here to help we all skate here we all want to help you guys get out there and start riding too so yeah hopefully we'll see you guys out there bye